All right, you guys. I just used my mandrati pasta shells, and I went ahead and stuffed them, stuffed them with some fresh mozzarella balls and some great tomatoes. Next up, we are going to pull out our ground beef, and we are just going to do a nice thin layer. right on top now this is the 80 20 so this is the 80 percent lean 20 percent fat but if you want i mean you could even do this with sausage ground sausage it's totally up to you guys however you would prefer all right we're gonna do a thin layer of some avocado oil so the noodles will saturate and won't stick together just like that ladies and gentlemen all right I'm going to throw in some minced garlic that is a must right. I'm just going to sprinkle it across the dish you guys could do it to your guys' liking. I love garlic. Now this dish clearly has a lot of cheese. It has a lot of mozzarella. So if you are lactose intolerant, I don't know if this is going to be the dish for you. Next up, I have some beef broth. I'm just going to go ahead and open a little slit just so we can pour this liquid all over now well the reason let me get this going the reason why I like to use beef broth is because it has flavor instead of just using water the pasta noodles will definitely be able to soak up some flavor and have a distinct taste to it. All right, next up, I'm going to add some marinara sauce on top. And we're going to pour this all across just like that Let me get my little spatula so I could distribute this marinara perfect all right mm -mm -mm. all right this looks absolutely delicious it smells good now I will say putting it in the oven is going to be the quickest part because the most tedious part is just laying out all the shells and stuffing them but if you have patience and you think stuff like that is calming then this is definitely going to be a dish for you to make now I have some fresh basil that we're going to cut up and put on top since we are using mozzarella balls you could definitely smell the basil right when you open up the box it is a very strong scent mm -mm -mm. Wait, let me get that out of here. Super relaxing dish that you can make. Uh oh, my whole finger fell in it. Alright, now you go ahead and just wipe that off. Huh? That you cut yourself. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright. So we got some seasoning that we are going to use. 
some sasson. And then some onion powder. There's a lot of onion powder right here. Let me mix that up. Go ahead. Mix all of this in. Perfect. So that marinara is going to definitely bubble up and start to cook with that beef broth. And it's going to come out so delicious. Now these shells come very hard. So it is going to marinate and saturate with that liquid. Now I'm going to just put a little bit of H2O just on top. And then we're going to add some Italian style cheese. Y'all, and let that settle in. We're going to put this in the oven at 375 for 50 minutes, and we can't wait to show you guys the end results. All right, you guys, it is done. Let's get into this bad boy. Yes, I did have to put some foil on top so it keep the moisture. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It looks good, it looks cheesy. Let's see the oh, yeah, these. Uh, up you guys see that right there I just want to get like one perfect one I don't want to break it like little pasta taquitos let me get that one Ooh, man these open up I didn't know they were going to be this big. Okay. Look at that. It's actually really big. Tamale. It looked like a pasta, t pasta tamale. Right. Get one with the mozzarella, some meat sauce, a tomato. Got to blow on it because I know that this is going to be hot. Mm. That's actually super hot, but it tastes super good. You gotta be careful with this. You gotta let this sit. Ugh. Tomatoes be bursting. <laughs> yeah. Lord. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Woo. This is good. It's hot, but it's good. Oh yes, this is this is really really good. Now you could put some chili flakes on this if you want some Parmesan cheese. You can go ahead, spice it up how you like. But this right here, y'all, is a success. I didn't think they were gonna be so big, so yeah, this is gonna be a hefty meal. And go ahead and make it for you and your family. Bye bye.